Hello, dear brothers and sisters from the program Lumines. I'm Father Claudio. I'm from a Mission Ruach in all over the world. And I'm here just to talk to you about the, what, how many miracles Jesus is making in our lives through apostles, through the people they want to be a real Jesus in this life. I will give the, also the reading of the Matthew, the chapter 10, about the mission that you have and I have in this world. The kingdom of heaven has come near, tell Jesus. Heal the sick, raise the deaf, cleanse those who are, have leprosy, drive out demons, freely you have received, freely give it. This is a gospel of the Lord. Many times in our life we sought miracles, and I can assure you that each day, each second in our life, it's a miracle. And I can tell you that many, many part of these miracles is because of the faith of you, a faith, or the neighbor faith. Remember that Jesus was doing a lot of miracles because of the faith of the others. Remember that woman comes and asks for the a daughter, she is sick and to be delivered. Or also that father, he had an uh, epileptic son, and he told Jesus, if you can, you can son my son, you can heal my son, you can save my son. I want to tell you, your faith, he can heal a lot of people, if you believe. I remember in my experience, I have been this year, in some countries like Paraguay, Argentina, and Colombia. And this country, also I find some person, one of them, they try, they become uh, also uh, little by little growing faith because of the healing, what he received. It's a doctor. He told the uh, father, before to come this mass, I was a believer, but not a huge believer. You told in the beginning to use the three sacramentals, water, oil, and salt, and you bless it. I took some salt, I drink some water, and I can tell you, like doctor, I know what I have. I have a cancer. I have in my thyroid, a one centimeter and a half, I have a huge cancer. I pray, you ask and you invite the people to confession, and I do it. After the Mass, I receive the Holy Spirit. And when I finished the Mass, I was touching my neck to see my cancer and disappear. And that moment, I discover that Jesus is alive in me, and Jesus is alive in you, but in also the people they was, were in that Mass. I remember that that man was in one mass when 1,500 people. And the uh, majority, they get healed, but not all of them. So where is uh, the best place to get healed? Home, in a place, in a bus? Everywhere where you are, Jesus can heal you. Now, like Catholic, I can tell you, we have uh, special places where God is loves come more stronger in your life. And I can tell you that the Adoration Chapel are the places where more miracles happen. Especially, they are so powerful, the Adoration Chapels, where Jesus is loved 24 hours for 24 hours. It's like a thousand times more than the chemotherapy for the people they are sick. It's a thousand times more than uh, somebody he lost someone close to him. And Jesus is putting love and restore their hearts. That place, that adoration chapel, it's a place where Jesus is waiting for you each day, each second. And I can assure you, I saw so many miracles that people come out from that places, from the Holy Masses. Simply, if you go to your, the Holy Mass each day, when you take the communion, you can feel that the Holy Spirit is coming to you and changing your life. So many people, I remember the last year I have visiting another place like in Chicago, a lady who told me, Father, 
I was in a mess. I received the Holy Spirit. I confess. And after I was to the doctor, I was supposed to be uh, also diagnostic with the cancer and brain to be uh, operated after two weeks. And the doctor was a Jewish doctor. He told me, you know, I want to make one scanner again before your operation. And I accept. And when he do this, he invite me uh, to his office. And he told, you know, woman, I don't know what you do in the last two weeks, but I can assure you what's happened in your life. It's a miracle because you have in your brain, one cancer, very big. Now, it's so small and it's like impossible to be operated because it's too small. So I can tell you like doctor, I'm Jewish and I believe in God. Your God, you pray, hears you and he, you get healed. So I can tell you, you go to your God and say thanks. So many miracles was happened. This woman was coming and give witnesses. After one year, I visited Chicago and it was amazing to hear this, her voice and to see, but how many miracles. And I want to tell you about something that I used to see in the people when they are doing what Jesus is doing. I do once in a year, like church is asking us in Lent time, I do fasting. I fast bread and water for 40 days. And I tell to the people like you, I tell fast, because you can see a lot of miracles in your life. I remember a woman from uh, LA. He told me, Father, my son is not so polite to me and is not good. Uh, he is 20 years old and uh, and I told, you know, I pray over you. And I, Jesus told to me, fast 40 days with Jesus. This woman, he told me, the father is my son, he's sick, not me. So he need to be changed, not me. And I pray again over her. And Jesus tell me, tell her to fast 40 days. In a number 20 of the fasting days, this lady was hearing the voice of Jesus telling her very clear. You see, you need to go home to your father. You don't visit him for 20 years and you need to ask him to apologize to you because you damage him. And after you see a lot of miracles, this woman, 20 days, hear the same voice telling to her, go to your house in your country and ask forgiveness as we forgive those who trespass and against us. Go home and ask forgiveness. She was in a nine, the 39 day, she was going back to her country. Hey, find the father. In one restaurant, he was seated there waiting for the father. She told me, when my father was coming in the restaurant, there were very few, few people there. And I remember I was not able to walk to him. I was blocked. And I feel somebody push me in the hands of my father. And there was nobody there with the Holy Spirit. And I embraced my father, asked him for apologize me, father. And I feel so much peace. And that moment I knew the miracle God doing me. He gave me so much peace, so much love. Crying, going in the plane, telling Jesus I want to love you, to thank you because you bring me to my heart, the peace and joy of my father. I don't love him for so many years, 20 years I don't visit him. Now Jesus tell her, you know a mother, he is not forgiven the father for 20 years. You see, it's a mother that is not so good. Now I want to tell you, your son was suffering for this. And now it's time to heal your son. Because your son, because of you, he don't receive a grandfather. 
Now it's time to restore your life, the son life, and your father life. I want to restore you. And you see, it's simple. The woman, he told Father Jesus, Holy Spirit, I want to restore the life of my son. I damaged him. I maybe wounded him. What I need to do? And Jesus tell you, you can fast 40 days more, but I need time, a lot of time to restore the lives. I want that you change little by little. A love is my love into you to change to you. So in that moment, this woman understand the peace of God in her can change a lot of things. Many, many miracles was happen. In my life, like priest, I can tell you, I was different before I do the fasting days. Before, I was a pastor, director of the, a movie, like Claudius Spielberg. It was good, but not good enough. I was nervous sometimes, but there was not the peace of God into me. Each one of the day of the 40 days fasting with Jesus, eating bread and water for 40 days, Jesus was putting in my, to my mind peace, into my eyes peace, into my mouth peace, was a peace from heaven. And when I was very deep peace inside with Jesus, Jesus was taking control, was not anymore the Claudio Spielberg, director of the movie of my life, when I finished the 40 days, I discovered that I was also sometimes sad, sometimes unhappy, sometimes pride, sometimes lazy. And I discovered that Jesus is not like this. From that day that I allowed Jesus to come through the fasting time into me, I feel a different way the Eucharist into me. I feel in the different way, the timing I spend for the people in confessional, I find that Jesus in me is stronger than myself. I find and I feel that my will was crucified and stay crucified on the Jesus cross. And the will of Jesus was free in me. I feel that all the negative thoughts, mine was putting many times a crown of thorns on Jesus. And I feel from that time after fasting that this crown of thorns stay in a cross and Jesus is free into my mind. From that days, I feel my hands was giving more blessing because my hands was fierce, they had fears, but Jesus' hands not. My will was put it on the cross, crucified him, and the will of God and the will of Jesus was free in me. This is a way Dear brothers and sisters, take your Bible, embrace Jesus, take your message of Jesus to you, embrace it, and try to don't think you, try to allow Jesus to think into you, try to don't give this blessing, but allow Jesus to bless you. Remember, everything that's happened on the Holy Mass need to be realized in your house. The mother, father, you are priests like me. You need to make the sign of the cross in your house. You need to tell to your husband and wife, forgive me. You need to preach the gospel in your house each day. You need to pray our father embracing your son and your daughter. And you need to bless them each day, like I bless you. In that moment, everything that's happened in a church will be happening in your domestic church. It's your family. I want to bless you from this amazing uh, program, Lumines. I'm Father Claudio from Mission Ruach over the world. And I bless you in the Father, in the Son, in the Holy Spirit, in the Holy Virgin, to protect you all the, life, all the day of your life. Amen. I've been encouraged by what I've seen of Shalom Media and the uh, sorts of events that they promote. 
uh, across Canada. We hear our Holy Father speaking often about a new evangelization for today's world. That is going to call for media, modern media, to be involved in spreading the good news of Jesus Christ. So we ask the Lord to bless Shalom Media and all of your efforts to bring the good news into homes, into people's lives. Amen.